In today's video, let's see whether our glorious army can march north towards Pella and Thessalonica and really challenge the seat of Alexander. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum, Virgin Nought. Point six. Last time we had a lot of bribes happening, but we did kill Antigonus Gonatus. We also took Larissa, the capital of Macedon at that point, which is kind of crazy. And it's kind of weird that they have not made the capital Pella or Thessalonica again. It's now Dion, so <laughs> I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, apparently the AI is being a bit dumb. If you notice a little bit of a difference in gold, it's because I have gone through all of our cities before the episode starts and have put all the taxes up to as high as possible apart from in Umbrakia where we are trying to grow the city. So let us get on our boats, on our boats, on our legs, on our feet, on our many feet and let's see <laughs> if we can march forward. I am very much tempted to just go for Dion, just keep going for the capital because let's have a look at these guys. They're blocked by the brigands there. So I don't think they can get all the way around here without going past. Mm, no, if I put a fort there, but I don't really like to fort wall unless it's absolutely necessary. So let's see what we can do here. Let's try and combine these two units. Let's have a look. There we go. We kept experience with those boys. I'm going to pop this 43 Greek hoplite in there. Even though it has got good experience, there's only 43 of them. So we're going to leave that there for retraining later down the line. When one of these Acontistae comes in. So this Acontistae here, for example, when that comes in, we should be fine. And let's go north to Dion straight away. Or Dion, I guess, would be the correct pronunciation. Now, in terms of anything else, we've got some more Deuteroi on the way. So we're going to get them to go and join. And we've got a few units training. Let's have a look at where we are training. We just have one place, which is Ferai. And then, hopefully, next turn... In Ambrakia, we can retrain this unit and maybe get another Deuteroi. I am really enjoying using the Deuteroi this campaign. They seem to work a little bit better than the Seleucid ones. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe 0.5 and 0.6. There was a little difference to the Phalangites. But they do seem to do a bit better than I saw in 0.5. And they are by far our best unit at the minute. Even as quite a low tier Phalangite, they are still a lot better than say a hoplite so pretty good let's see what happens though over the end turn i'll see you after that guys ah here we go another candidate for adoption he's only 30 which is fantastic so we're definitely going to accept him where did he pop into it looks like one of these settlements over here so where oh no he's in Farsalos. oh dear well i think ferai or larissa is going to be the best option for him but unfortunately, Larissa is <laughs> under siege. This massive army is on the way around as well with some pretty darn good units again. And we've also got the Themai Pathiotides has grown. So let's get that in there. A new son has been adopted. So in Pharsalos, where do we want to stick you? I think we want to put you in Ferai, my friend. So let's pop you in. Unless Demetrius is making more money. Demetrius, has, Demetrius is actually making a, quite a decent amount of money. This guy already starts with three management. Let's have a look at his stats. A uh, bit of extra law. Bit of extra fertility. Minus three taxes is not bad. So that's fine. We're going to get him in Demetrius. And then we can actually use this unit as a governor as well. So in uh, Tricker, let's swap these garrisons over. We're going to send you across and send this guy across here as well. Then we're also going to pop into place this guy in here for future. 69% nice, but that's fine. So let's have a look at Dion. Now, this shouldn't be too much of a difficult fight, obviously. Um, but I probably will edit it down quite a bit because it looks unlikely that we're going to face any significant resistance here. But let's get into it anyway. If you can smell something ripe, that's your enemy. That's what fear does to weaklings when they face the It's a little bit rainy. <laughs> That's what you've done there we go. Already. Yes. Our enemy smells ripe. Very ripe, my friends. Very ripe. But anyway, let's let's use these guys on the old ram. Probably I mean they only have two Oh, you can't because you're on phalangites. 
grab that, and I'll see you when we get into the battle. So we've now got everything in position. We're bringing our Prodromoi through this way to try and bait them off the town square. Here they come. Ideally, I would like them to come this way, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? But hopefully we can kill this general pretty darn easily. Look at that on the, on the charge. Straight into the phalanx. Very nice indeed. Hopefully these guys can come up here and actually fire through. That would be ideal. I don't know whether they'll be able to, but it, I think it's on the back of the unit. So with the front of the unit, they should put the back of the unit up a little bit. And I don't mind if the Brodromoy takes a little bit of damage, honestly, if it forces these guys off. They should only have two javelins each as well. So that's going to be pretty darn good for us. But there goes the general. Nice and dead. Nice and dead. Hopefully. Nice and dead. Nice and dead, guys. Nice and dead. Please. <laughs> Oh, here comes the 304, right? Wait, where? What? Oh, they're going this way. Well, that's good for us. Let's go then. Let's go, 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 go. We need to go ASAP. That's the general dead. That's the general dead. Go, 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 guys, go. We need to stop them. We need to stop them. We need to stop them and then surround them. These guys can now turn around. No problem whatsoever. We're going to get our general back here to charge them in the back. So they've turned around. Yes, here they come. They are coming after us. Ah, 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 ah. Fools. Fools. Oh, every time. Why does it never remember what settings you put this on? It's really fucking annoying sometimes. <laughs> every single time I have to change that. All right, former phalanx now. Let's see where they actually go. They're going to come back this way. Oh, good. Nice. Right, well, we're going to come around this way then. It's not a problem. Who do we have javelin-wise? Let's get the 304 right here. There you go, my man. Get in there. We're also going to get these guys in here to do a double phalanx, which is pretty crazy. And we're also going to get the Athamanians there to try and fire at them. Where's the general? Bring the general. Bring him everywhere. No, he's going, don't go that way, my friend. Go this way. There we go. Are you all in phalanx, both of you? Yeah, get in phalanx. There we go. Good. They're not going to be able to do anything. They're going to try and push through. Hopefully, we can hold them back rather than them actually pushing through. Hmm. Yeah. I hate this little push through thing that they do when they want to. It's very annoying. But get the phalanx down. Push them back. Push them back. Push them back, my men. There we come with the general now. And the prodromoi, ideally. Let's bring them round. They are engaged in melee now. But we have seen how much they love to attack horsemen so it might not actually work but let's get the uh, old general in here there we go i want the general on that side good don't know why you're going to go around that way let's speed this up doesn't need to be any faster than this here we go straight in the back of them straight in the back we shouldn't really be losing too many men i really just wanted this unit to get some experience but it just looks like they're not gonna unfortunately here we go here comes the general rally there he... Where is he? Oh, he wasn't even nearby. That's okay, then. We don't need to rally too much. There we go. Broken them. Fantastic. Easy victory. And the next <laughs> Antigonid <laughs> capital is ours. Fantastic. And glorious settlement. Once again, we do the standard technique. Let's get the enslavement in there. And we are going to leave this place. But what with? I don't actually know. Hmm, we've got, say, these guys, but they can't actually get round right now. Anyone else available? I mean, I've got the Deuteroy there, but I do actually want them because <laughs> this army's going to be quite tough to deal with, but we do need to leave someone behind. I don't really want to leave the Athamanians because they're actually quite good. So what I'm thinking is, let's combine these two. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't do maths. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> ah, that's quite annoying. <laughs> Let's do the same technique, though. That's, uh, I mean, yes, <laughs> that that works. Two men, two whole men, and they're still happy. Good. Right. Let's come through then. And I really don't want to fight these battles. They're tiny little battles, very annoying battles. But and they shouldn't even want to siege this down anymore. So. Yeah, I just don't want them joining this. So, I think it is better to do the battles. 
but they should be relatively quick. But before we do that, let's have a look at some of our notifications from the turn. Kokira has now grown. Fantastic. Let's get that in there straight away. And yeah, Cappadocia and Armenia. Armenia and the Seleucids. Nah, nothing too interesting in there. Ah, cool. Let's have a look. This guy is doing the Olympics, I think. So, Agonistes Olympiados, Olympic competitor. The summer of our fourth year has arrived, and it does not come as a surprise that this man, who is an excellent athlete and also not campaigning this season, has decided to participate in the Games. It is never an easy journey to Olympia, but the desire to gain the golden olive leaves of Zeus is a great enough reward to undertake the additional training and travel. Men from across the Hellenic world, from the Pillars of Heracles to the northern shores of the Euxinos, which is the Black Sea, and even into deep Asia compete in the games, as long as they are freeborn and of Hellenic ancestry. Olympia itself will be crowded with the throngs of competitors and spectators. The dust alone could be enough to keep some away, but not the hardy and those unafraid of a journey, and more importantly, the challenge to bring fame to their own and their city's name. An influence boost from winning at the Olympics is possible. So he, we may get some Olympic winners, which is pretty darn cool. Some gold medalists in our ranks, which is excellent. Let's also tree train this hoplite and also get another deuteroy. I know we're getting a lot of deuteroy, but that's fine. Anything else build and in ferri, we got the acontisti. And we could retrain the acontisti. I think it's better leaving it small. So it's a better um, garrison troop because it's cheaper. Do we want to build anything else? Where are our main... I mean, fast loss is a recruitment hub as well. And I'm thinking let's get another prodromoy because... Ah, I hate them. I really do hate them. But they <laughs> I've got to admit they've been quite good so far. So <laughs> maybe I hate them unjustly. Well, I definitely do hate them unjustly. Uh, but everywhere's kind of happy now because I'm assuming, you know, they've had the unrest go away now, which is great. So let's do these battles. Should be nice and easy. Should be nice and quick. I'll see you there, guys. One thing you've got to love about this game is the fact that the battle maps change based on the conditions. Not just, I mean, the weather conditions, but what's going on elsewhere on the map. Like, we can see these ships here, and if we go onto the campaign map, you will see that there are ships there as well. I just absolutely love that little detail. Now, are these, they do have Thurio Foroi, so let's get going straight away and do not mess around at all. We're going to try and get our Thurio Foroi on this side. The Akarnanians around this side as well. As well as the... Oh, well, it's, I messed that up slightly, but that's fine. Should not be a hard hard battle at all. Now into the Phalanx mode and go forward. Why did you do that? Oh my god. That was a brutal amount of javelin attacks in there. Really brutal. Not ideal for us. But, yeah, I mean, we had to we had to front it with someone. Unfortunately, we fronted it with the Deuteroy, but that's fine. Let's get our guys around. Let's get the Greek hoplites over here. Let's also bring our cavalry round as well. Now you guys are in here. I want you all to fire away. So let's backspace, get you to halt, and you should be firing now. So fire at the 3048. Where are they running to, you imbeciles? Don't know why they would be running, but let's get the javelins going. Come on, boys. Fire the javelins. Fire the javelins. They've run out of javelins now. So I don't know what they're doing. But it's not really going to help them, is it? They're just getting shredded. Good. You guys keep firing. Fire at them. Fire at them. And the Athamanians, let's bring you forward too. And uh, we should just be able to get one charge off. And that should be enough. Probably lost a few more men than we needed to here. 50 or so. That's not too bad, honestly. Rally. Rally. There we go. This should break them. There we go. Fantastic. Well, a glorious victory anyway. Well, a glorious victory in the end. We only lost 55 and we killed 246. Pretty much five times what we lost. Very nice indeed. I will see you back on that campaign map. Here we are, guys. And if you do enjoy this series, a like would be highly highly appreciated that would be fantastic i also wanted to just have a look at alexander of epirus he is 28 and he's nearly maxed out 
What a boy. Let's have a look at some of his things. A living legend. This man will surely be remembered as one of the great men and heroes as in ancient times. He was like unto Gilgamesh, Hercules, or Alexander. A fantastic figure of majestic proportions and larger than life. It cannot be refuted that he is the embodiment of what it means to be a great leader. And he also loves a bit of snuff, it seems, <laughs> as well. He looks like he's just taken a big load of snuff and is about to sneeze. But apparently he is, you know, majestic. He's a majestic man. Nine command, ten influence, and eight management. I mean, it's a shame that we can't really use the management for him. But he is an amazing guy at the minute. Drill master as well. Energetic. This man rarely stops working, even taking his meals on the move. Plus 20% movement points. Consummate politician. Tactical expert. Covetous. He does... The men don't like him too much because he just takes all the money. <laughs> He's also a veteran now. This general is a veteran of war. He knows the price of victories and is accustomed with hearing the moans and wails of the dead and dying men left in the battlefield. Ah, was one command plus two valor as well. But yeah, he does kind of steal all the money <laughs> from people. But yeah, that's fine. We don't really care about that. <laughs> he's, he's glorious in every other way. <laughs> let's just ignore that. <laughs> right, let's get on to this battle. Should be nice and quick again, guys. So this time we're going to use the opposite tactic and use our Thurio Foray at the front. I really don't care if the Greek Hoplites take a bit of a battering. Come on, guys. Fire. God damn it, man. Fire. <laughs> Rather than just sitting there and chilling. That would be nice. Fire at them. Quick. And then we're going to try and use our hoplites to get around the flanks. So let's go with that one. We're also going to try and use the Athamanians and the cavalry, of course. Uh, get over there, my friends. Don't run through the enemy. And we're going to get these guys behind. You guys can go after them. It's not. You're not going to catch them. But keep coming. You guys now on phalanx mode. Get in the flank of them. And who else have we got here? We have these boys. Let's go. Let's go then. Athamanians too. Let's keep going. And then the cavalry. Let's go after those Greek slingers. I just wanted to chase them a bit so they stopped firing for a second. Go, 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 men. Go, go. Run, 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 run. Why did you decide to go there? Go, go, go. That's where we wanted you to go. Fantastic. And now we've got these phalangites. Let's get them in here. They're going to be fully surrounded very soon. Get in there. Where's the Athamanians gone? They're up this way. Right. Let's go after them. Prodromoi mainly going to be the ones chasing them down. And we'll use our Athamanians here. Probably here is actually the best place to go to fire into that Thurio Foroi. Let's keep going, guys. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep your step going. We should be able to squish these guys considerably. There we go. We've got them. They're only wavering, though, which is a little bit annoying because our Prodromai are going to take a bit of damage fighting this fight. So I might have to get my general in there. There we go. They're dead already. These guys shouldn't be long before they die. And in this instance, we are just letting them fight to the death. Like, it's not a problem at all. So, yeah, we're just letting them all fight to the death. So we squish them to death. And that's it. Fantastic. Let's get rid of those boys. And I'll see you at the end, guys. Another easy victory. Although this time, 123 losses. That seems quite a lot. Mainly probably because we did have the Thurio Foray at the front. So I guess that javelin throw is a lot less damaging than them actually getting an attack off uh, on Thurio Foray. Whereas the Deuteroy can just hold them back and they can't attack. So, yeah, a good experiment anyway. We use both tactics, and it seems like the first tactic was definitely the one that we want to go for in future. A glorious victory, guys. I have been looking at our recruitment hub. So, of course, we've got Ferai over here. We've also got Pharsalos 2 is a recruitment hub with level 2. We've got Ambrakia up this way, and Finike is actually one too. So, we might want to start upgrading this to be a bit of a better recruitment hub going forward. In terms of retreating, I am just going to retreat down the road. It's a little bit risky rather than going into a city. But I feel like this army... Yeah, it doesn't look like they've got that much movement. And looks like they're going to get stuck on Tricker or Aegineon if they go either of those ways. I kind of want to retrain this army. Let's sort them as well. And yeah, let's retrain this army. And then we can fill it with troops afterwards. 
Let's get these guys in there for now, just so we've got some extra units. And I do want some more missile units. I mean, javelins in this patch seem very, very good. Um, and they were always good. I just was... <laughs> I just don't like using skirmisher troops. That's the truth of it. But honestly, they're pretty darn good. So if you like using skirmisher troops, you're going to have a fantastic time. <laughs> so how about Lucas up here? Yeah, we're good. Right then, I'll end the turn and let's see where this big Antigonid army decides to go. Iginion, apparently. Fantastic. And they've got another stack right behind it and one far to the north too. Oh, Extreme mode is getting a little bit spicy and they've also bloody bribed <laughs> Dion. You bastards! God damn, another settlement bribed. Another day, another settlement bribed, of course. Fantastic. We love to see it. Again, they leave no one in there, though. Like, <laughs> why? I have no idea. But it just allows us to do this and just get more money and more population again. So, <laughs> fantastic. We've got another guy for a... Um, for adoption, let's take him definitely because I'm actually thinking of bolstering this army with a little bit of extra, uh, extra muscle from another general. So, oh, it wasn't completed. No, you bastard. Come back. I want you. I want you. Anyway, let's retrain this whole army while we are also getting that deuteroy in there too. And then I think we'll have enough. I think. I think. I don't know. But I think, where did that Prodromoy get done? It's not done yet. So we need to keep on pumping out troops. I'm going to get another Akontistai in there. I know it doesn't seem like the greatest use of our recruitment hubs. But in fact, it'll be fine. And in, um, in for Nike, let's have a look at the Uzonoi. The problem with these guys is that they only have two Javis. So they're just kind of pointless. So it's definitely better to get a Greek Hoplite and Rome's Commander, you know... <laughs> done this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Antigonids decided that they chose violence today because <laughs> we got this army. <laughs> we got this army. <laughs> we got this army. And we got this army. Oh, fantastic. Looks like they only care about fighting us, which... Yes. Come on, Thracians. Please, please do me some solids <laughs> and, uh, and get on the bandwagon of jumping into them. In fact... Let's see if we can go for an alliance. Very demanding for an alliance with the Adrissians. I'll give you map information. Give you military access. You still we don't want no it. To us. Oh, come on, Thracians. I know you hate the Antigonids just as much as me. Alliance? Why is it so demanding? No come on, we're stronger us. than you as well. That should be happy. Come on, very hard. <laughs> Please, give me a lifeline somewhere. I think we can still make it out of this. We just need to make sure that we do retrain this army have a nice army ready to go. I am very much considering bolstering it with another general. But we really don't have that many generals to spare at the minute. Let's pop that down so it doesn't riot. Hmm. We really do not have many generals at, at the minute to spare. I mean, we could leave the Prodromoy in there, in fact. But I'll take the Prodromoy probably over that general. I think over the course of a battle, the Prodromoy can probably do better than 14 of a general if we use them right. But only if we use them right. So it looks very likely that we're going to be fighting this army first and then having a look if we've got enough troops to fight this one too. So yeah, that'll be the option there, I think. But yeah, let's have a look at what we want to build this turn. So for Nike. Like I say, Fenike is a level 4, so we definitely should get some more barracks in there. I know we're not spending a lot of our money on the economy right now, but hopefully that money should come from conquering settlements rather than worrying too much about building economic buildings. As you can see, there's really not many economic buildings in a lot of these places to build because they haven't upgraded yet. Ferai, on the other hand, probably worth building that in there. Let's look at Lucas now then. Lucas, probably worth that. How much? 51. I mean, it's not a lot, but like I say, it's going to build up over time. Anyone got any farms that we can build very cheaply? In fact, Dion, we could build a trader, but I'm going to leave that because it's very likely that Dion is going to get... Um, <laughs> 
Dion is going to get bribed again. Now, we could also build some fort walls over this way. But like I say, in my, you know, main playthroughs, I don't really like to build fort walls. Like, if we're playing Rhodes Hot Seat, where if we didn't build fort walls, we'd die, then I would. But in this campaign, I don't think we need to. I think we can do it without exploiting the AI and building fort walls. So... For now, we're not going to do it. But if it gets too harem scarum, we may do at some point. But anyway, let's see what happens after this end turn. These guys have not built any siege equipment yet, so that's fine. And hopefully we can chain one and two. And then maybe come back for retraining again. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, Rome has decided for a ceasefire. Of course, we are definitely going to accept this. And we're also going to try and get trade agreement with them if we can. Maybe an alliance, but they're not going to accept that. But that's fine. Thank you, Rome, for not blockading me anymore. <laughs> um, Ellis has come to us for protection. Now, their only enemy at the minute is the Achaeans. So I think this will bring us to war with the Achaeans. But I genuinely don't think that that's going to matter too much. So I'm going to accept this and let's see what happens. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we, we are not at war with the Achaeans anymore. They still are for some reason. I have no idea why. Can we do anything else? I don't think so. So they came and attacked us over here at Pasaron and also at a Ginion as well. So I think we can chain through them. But let's see how many people we lose in this first battle. I'm going to try and be very conservative and try not to lose as many men as possible. It would be nice to take Helenos, honestly. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to take our brother, our older brother, on campaign with us for the first time in a while. Now, let's have a look at how much money he pro he uh, produces. Uh, it's only an extra, what, 500 or so? Yeah, it's only an extra 500. That's fine. We're still making a lot of money. Do we have access to mercenaries now? That is... Oh, my God. Finally. It has been a long time since we had access to mercenaries. So, I think we do this battle. See how damaged we are. Merge the troops. And then get a few mercenaries. So, we just con continue and stop this. They've got all the rams. So, it's very likely that they will siege down a Ginion. Unfortunately, we're going to use a very ni uh, we're going to lose a very nicely experienced um Zistafora in there, but I guess we'll see as well. We've also got Parmenion now. Good. Where do we want to go? Oh, we got to sort out this uh, civil disorder. So, we've got Thebai Pithiotides. Let's just go down uh in the tax rate. Same thing over here. Let's also make sure we retrain that unit. Don't want to don't want to send out a damaged unit. Um, what else have we got? He's been adopted. So, I think Ferai is still a good option for a general because it's... Oh, no, it's only making 900. That's not good at all. Larissa. Yeah, definitely. Larissa's the one. Larissa's the one. That's who, where we're going to send a general. He's got two management already. Fantastic. That also means we can use this Akontistai to replace maybe a better garrison somewhere like this one. So, let's get them in there and then we can replace... And use that garrison later down the line, which would be fantastic. We've also got another Prodromoy. Now, we can't really join up our troops at the minute. Let's also queue in another Prodromoy. But that's fine. Let's keep on getting troops. So when we get back round to this way, we can then join them up together. We've had a ceasefire with Rome. Fantastic. And Sparta and the GCS are now allies. I really don't care about this. But Ellis is now our protectorate, which is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> They've actually got three settlements. They've taken Daime off the Achaeans. Uh, but they have lost Olympia, which <laughs> is not good. <laughs> so well done, Ellis. Nice to see you as part of the party, should we say. Uh, Larissa got the academy now as well. So that should really help Parmenion get a few more traits. And like I said earlier on, we're definitely going to get that Epirote recruitment in there. This could be a good recruitment hub for us going forward. A frontline one too. Tricker over here. Let's have a look. Probably the trader. Now let's also go through everything else. Let's first look at our recruitment hubs. They are the main option for us right now and what we can build. So fast loss is just for cavalry at the minute. So let's make sure we get... Oh no, we're still build we're building in fast loss. Um, in Ferai, 
Yeah, we need to repair that. We are already building there too. Anywhere else? Finike, we are building. Yeah, so we are building in all our recruitment hubs. So now we can uh, focus on economic buildings. And of course, probably get... I'm thinking we get another Athamanian Peltas because they're so good. They are a really good unit. I, I really enjoy using that unit. And you're not going to hear me say that very often about a skirmisher unit. Now let's have a look at the roads. Yeah, they're not very good, are they? And we're never going to really come through that region. So that's fine. Kikiros, on the other hand, anything else to build? Yeah, these places just really need to upgrade because they're so, so worthless at the minute being just a large town. Oricon 2, completely worthless. There's nothing really in there that's worth building. Let's build the sewers in Demetrias, though. Iginion, like I say, again, pretty worthless for the buildings. Dion, I mean, they didn't bribe it this time. So, I don't want to queue in a port. It's probably too expensive. So, let's just go for the tax income bonus. That means we've got 7,000 left. Hmm, let's have a look around here then. Uh, I think Kikiros is probably a good one to build roads in because of walking through this way. I tell you what, definitely is a good one to build roads in. Pasaron, but it's under siege. And also building. But I still think Kikiros is a good option for roads. So we'll queue that in and save the rest of the money. So let's go after this army. You're kidding. That's, that's all the movement points we have. Really? No way. Well, we're going to take a Ginion. That's fine. We will destroy this army. And then we're going to have to try and deal with those ones. I would love some cavalry as a unit. In fact, let's get some Cretan archers. Very expensive, but also very good. I also don't want to allow them to have a massive opportunity to, uh, you know, recruit a load of mercenaries. I'd love some, some uh, Thessalian cavalry as well, even if it's very expensive. But anyway, let's end the turn, and hopefully next turn we can actually fight this army. God damn it. And unfortunately, the Antigonids are going to take Iginion. We killed six. We lost a good experience this to Foroi, but it's fine. So they just occupied Iginion. That is absolutely fine by me. No problem with that whatsoever. Where is my spy? Did they die? They are over here. Well, I want to kind of come around this way to see the routes that this army might be able to take. Because I'm thinking, if we fort wall this crossing off here. I know I don't like fort walls. Ah, that's the army there. So we do need to kill that. So we've got to get through that army anyway. But I was thinking of fort walling here, taking Iginion and just waiting three turns. And just seeing what the AI does. Because that would be a really easy battle. Uh, sorry, an easy take. It's just waiting three turns to take Iginion. That'd be very nice. But look at the amount of armies they have now. That is obscene. <laughs> Extreme mode is crazy, man. Extreme mode is crazy. They are getting some serious, serious amount of troops right now. So we really need to wipe out some of these armies. Let's also get the militia barracks in there. We're getting another Prodromoi in Ferai. What do we have? More Akontistai. I think we keep on going with those boys. Getting some Athamanians in there. And we got another Hoplite. Let's also go for another one of those. So, let's have a look at what we want to do. Some of these units are pretty good. The Mercenary Phalangites are better than our Deuteroi. The Cretan Hoplites as well are significantly good. And the Peloponnesian ones are insanely strong. So, it costs 4,000 to get these boys. <laughs> 4,000 is quite a lot, but let's take them anyway, and let's go after this army. Two units of Thessalian cavalry when they don't even own Thessaly. Fantastic. I love extreme mode, guys. I love it. <laughs> oh, dearie me. But anyway, let's get into the battle. Let's hopefully kill them in the mountains of Epirus. It does. It really does. It really does. Yes, glorious, glorious. Well, what we're going to do is we're gonna going to come up the hill and go down from there and see what we can do about them. We're going to use the tried and true technique of having the phalangites at the front. Make sure we're all on fire at will. Good. How about you guys? 
Let's get you off. Run away. Same with the Prodromoy. Let's group you all together. Let's group all of these boys together as well. And then all of them. Oh, we need the Peloponnesian Hoplites in there too. So let's make sure we get them there. And then our archers. We're going to try and bait them with our archers. So I don't know where they are. Well, oh, they're all the way over there. Hmm. Well, that's all right for us. So, because we can take a bit of a position on this hill here. And then decide what we're going to do. So let's come down the hill and let's get our archers in front. I would love to bait them off this hill. I think they're going to be overconfident and think that they can win. So that would be excellent if we could just bait them into fighting. Well, I think we've managed to bait them a little bit. And here comes the, Thess the Thessalian Lancers. So let's see whether we can fully bait these boys into the fight. I think we can. Fantastic. Well, we should be able to get a very nice charge off on them if we want to. We could also probably withdraw through the Phalangites. They're not going to be so quick. So let's get these guys in behind. We're also going to turn off you guys from Fire at Will for now. They may catch them. But they're a very expensive unit, so I don't mind losing a few of them if these guys are going to run into a phalanx afterwards. So keep coming, men. Keep coming. This may also force the rest of them into the fight. We lost about 10, 12, whatever. That's fine. But it's also baited them into the phalanx, and they're a very, very, very good unit. So I am quite happy with that. They seem to route very quickly without a general at the minute, which is good for us. So, yeah. Now let's get our Prodromoy to tra chase them down. Hopefully before they do anything else stupid. And we're going to go and bait the rest of this army. Well, it doesn't seem like they're going to come off the hill, guys. So it is going to be an up uphill struggle for us. This is pretty epic, though, isn't it? If we just press K now, we've got our armies over here facing off against the Antigonids all the way over that side. I get rid of the unit banners. Let's have a look at this. This is going to be glorious. Here we are, boys. Here we are. Look at that. Glorious, glorious lines of Epirote troops. The Deuteroi ready to go with the Hoplites in behind, ready to fight the Antigonids across the other side of the hill. Let's go. Here we go, guys, and I've actually messed that up quite badly because uh, <laughs> I was trying to sort my mic out <laughs> before they charged. <laughs> so we should be still be fine, but this poor unit of Deuteroy is going to take a bit of a battering here now. So we're going to bring our guys through as well. These get these Thurio Thorai are not going to batter us too much, hopefully. This poor unit of Deuteroy has taken a bit of a battering, mainly because of my goddamn mic. It was already unmuted. I did not need to, to I, I accidentally muted it and then unmuted it again that's why we face <laughs> this issue right now it looks like the greek slingers are going from the fight anyway and yeah we can uh, fight these guys get in the fight there get in the fight right boys we're gonna come through the rest of this should be not too difficult so we're gonna surround these boys to bring you guys forward to surround the phalangites you guys come through we're gonna get our cavalry into the action too and remember, we just need to kill 85%. But you can see what happens when the lines get uh, a bit skewed here. Like the phalangites just start to crumble. But a big mistake on my part anyway. Uh, this sort of, uh, that mess on that side. Let's get the Prodromoi down here to deal with these boys. And let's also, us go for the Thessalian cavalry. You guys get in there too. There we go. General's dead. Should want to rout now, everyone. Good. Morale is king, remember, guys. Here we go, into the, Th the Thessalian Cavalry. I can't say that word. <laughs> Seems very difficult for me to say. Right, now out. Now out, away from those Phalangites. We do not want to deal with those. And yes, what do they have? Macedonian Hoplites there too? Yeah, we've taken a bit of a beating in the middle. I'm not going to lie. Bit of a beating. <laughs> but hopefully we can get rid of these boys. Here they go, shaken. We don't want them to fight to the death, remember. Get your phalangites down, guys. Get your phalanxes down. Now you can turn around and face them. And yeah. Bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. It's not going to allow us to, you know, deal with all of these guys so easily. Now let's go after those Greek slingers with them. 
Ha! Ah, we may have to get some more mercenaries, unfortunately. But I still think we've got a good enough backbone of an army to deal with the rest of them. So everyone of you guys get out of there. Oh dear, the center just got ruined. The center just got absolutely hammered in that. Hopefully these guys stop fighting to the death and then we can uh, get them to run. But yeah, they got absolutely hammered, unfortunately. How many have we killed anyway? 36% left, so we do need to get rid of all of these boys. So I'll see you at the end, guys. Well, not so glorious a victory, but a victory nonetheless. This Deuteroid got absolutely destroyed because of me. Completely my fault. But anyway, I'm sorry, guys, about that one. Uh, but yeah, decent, decent result nonetheless. And a glorious victory. Now, they may just be fully dead. But only just. We shall see. Well, I think at this point, the only thing we can do right now to get a defensive position is to stand on the river crossing and hope they come and attack us there with potentially this army or this army and see whether we can beat them back with our phalangites. We don't have that many missile troops, of course, but hopefully enough to beat them back. We shall see what this army does on the end turn. What in the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, Athens. Nice one. Another general has come of age, so let's get that guy. Not come of age, we can adopt them. So, Perseus, we are going to send you to Ambrakia because we always want a general in there. We've got rioting in Korkira as well because this guy got killed in the rioting as well. That is quite unfortunate. I've never really seen that for a while. It has dipped it below the level, but luckily, because we're still building it, we still can build the next governor's palace. So, yeah, Athens, they've broken their alliance with the Greek city-states. That's also broken our alliance with the Aetolians because Athens has done that. What genuine dickheads. I am not happy about that at all. <laughs> you horrible, horrible bastards. What army do you have? Not a good one. So that's okay. I think we can still beat that. Thereby, Pathiotides did grow now into a large town. That's fantastic. We can get a port there. But they did leave Iginion open for us to attack. So I am very much considering going after Captain Cakes. Captain Cakes! <laughs> the captain of the cakes. But let's pop in here because I think that's our move. We've got to go for this battle if we can. And unfortunately, no Thessalian cavalry available to us. We do have some good options, though. And I'm considering getting the mercenary phalangites and some more Cretan hoplites because they are very good. Um, Thuriophoroi, we've got mercenary hoplites too. I mean, the Thuriophoroi cavalry is not that good. So I think Cretan hoplites instead. And unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to build anything this turn. So that's unfortunate. We do need to start... Uh, consolidating our armies too because we have some troops available to us now that I would like to get into the army. Two more turns until we can finally get cavalry and then when we get cavalry the battle should be a lot less messy and a lot better for us so that will be excellent. Now can we attack this guy without getting stuck? We can if we go this way please. <laughs> Don't go the stupid way. Please, the proper way. Um, and again, yeah, our Deuteroy is pretty darn damaged. So I am considering sending a couple of these guys back already. Just because they're probably going to be in the way in the battle. Let's get this guy in the middle of here. Yeah, I think this 15 and 30 is just going to be a nuisance. So let's get rid of those so we can actually have a good battle line. And yeah, I think this is going to be tough, but I think we can win because they don't have a general. So let's get into the battlefield. Oh, this is going to be a really brutal battle, especially with their uh, Chalka Speeders. Now we should have cavalry advantage, even just with those guys. They do have Prodromoi themselves, but if we can get rid of them quickly... Lots of Thuriophoroi there. Lots and lots of them. So, let's see what we can do. This is going to be a brutal battle. I feel like if we lose this, we're going to lose a lot more land. 
and it may be worth getting a ceasefire. But for now, I think let's go for it and see whether we can win. Let's go. That is no orc horn. Oh, do we want a dusk one? No, probably not. Not rainy. <laughs> it's always in nighttime, is it? Well, that's fine. Well, Alexander, you needed a good speech for this one. I think they might be up there, judging by how the AI likes to play this. Ideally, we don't want to be going through a, a massive um, uphill again. So let's get a relatively compact formation. We're going to use our phalangites as a flanking force. I know that sounds stupid, but it can work if we do it right. So let's get those guys in. I don't want fire arrows. They're pointless for us. So let's group you guys together as well. Group this line together too. And you guys are all on fire at will. Good. And the phalangites group you. So let's go. Let's see where they're set up. There, they're over there. They're over there. Good, 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 good. That's all right for us. Don't mind that. I think they're going to think that they are, you know, more powerful than us. So let's go with that. And it's also, yeah, you guys are off, so you are running. Good. And I'm hoping we can just bait them into attacking us. That big line of phalangites is rather scary, I'm not going to lie. I would quite like my phalangites to be engaging theirs rather than the other way around. Rather than them engaging my sort of main line. But ideally, we just need to hold them while we get our cavalry in behind. And once we've killed that general, that's all that's going to matter. We need to kill the general, though. And he is a Thessalian cavalry. <laughs> oh, God. This is rather nerve-wracking. Rather, rather nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. But hopefully, we can do some damage to them. Here they come straight away. They're already up on the battlefield. Now, I don't really want to fire into you, Zonoi. Not really the option. But if, we, if that means we get all our ammo off, that's not bad at all. Now, our phalangites are going to be used to try and get around the enemy. And hit them from behind. That would be excellent. And here comes their Prodromoi. Hmm. What do we use? I think we use our Prodromoi to fire at them. But really, I don't want to worry about the Prodromoi at all. What are you doing? Like, why have you run backwards? That's stupid. <laughs> They're going around the left-hand side. I don't know why. Because they're already leaving units out here to get mil uh, absolutely moshed. Let's go Chalka Speeders. Right, let's get this rest of the line down here if we can. I don't know what this is. Like, why are they doing this? Like, who are you? Thurio 4 are you trying to flank us? Well, let's get our guys over here then if they're going to try and flank. No problem. Hold the line for now. It's really hard to tell between our troops and theirs right now. So let's uh, see if we can surround a few of these boys. Potentially engage those boys as well. Yeah, we're going to have to come across the other side. Look at this. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> right. This is going to be really tough. I don't know whether we can actually win this. So let's keep on going. Let's go for their general. Where is he? He's all the way back there. That's quite a problem. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing. Like, what are they doing? But for now, let's come around this way with our cavalry. We're going to have to go and try and snipe that general. That's the only thing we can do right now. Here comes the Prodromoi, though. Who is dying? You guys are getting absolutely killed, but uh, it's because there's two units fighting them. Right then, you two are going to have to go and deal with those boys. You guys need to get into the phalanx formation and fight them. You're going to have to come over here and get a phalanx formation, too. This is brutal. This is really brutal already. I don't know, even from just the opening engagements, whether we can actually deal with them. So get into your phalanx formation. You guys get in phalanx as well. Deal with those boys. These guys have used all their ammo. You can get round and start flanking someone. Who exactly, I don't know. But let's get our cavalry all the way around this side. Now, where is their general? He's in there. He's in there. Cool. Right, you guys need to come and flank someone. Probably these Macedonian hoplites. Very hard against this army is going to be so brutal as well. You guys can come round and actually just engage the Chalka Speeders. We're going to charge this army. 
We might need to withdraw from this, but we shall see. You guys get in the fight there to kill the Macedonians as well. Let's go for that. This should be a really good charge. There we go. Broken them instantly. Let's kill them all or kill as many as we can. And these guys should not want to fight because we've uh, broken another unit. Unhappy overtaking casualties. Right. Well, come out, cavalry. We don't want to lose men unnecessarily there. So you guys should surround that Thurio Foroy. That's fine. These guys are in the fight. Let's try and walk through it. What are you doing, man? Oh, you're not in phalanx mode. I'm sure I put you in phalanx mode. Halt. Now we're going to fight them. Right, guys. In here. Where is their general? Where has he gone? Where does he keep getting off to? Oh, he's there. He's there. He has charged. So let's try and get through the middle of this Uzonoi. Nice and easy. Surrounded those boys. You guys can just hold this flank. No problem. We're going to come round and try and flank this unit of Chalka Speeders here. You guys need to fire. Oh, here comes the Prodromoi. I don't mind fighting them. No problem. No problem. Right then. Guys, what are you doing, man? Fight. Fight. Just fight. Fight. Halt. Fight. There we go. That's better. That's what we like to see. These guys are now in the fight here, this side too. But this line is getting absolutely destroyed. If we could kill that general, though, I think this would be excellent for us. So let's go in for a charge on that Thurio Foroi. You guys need to get into that fight. I think we're beating them on this flank, just losing quite heavily on this flank. <laughs> That's our main issue right now. These guys should win against this Thurio Foroi, no problem. Let's go for the charge. Let's rally the men too. Let's go for a big charge on that Thurio Foroi. Hopefully it's a good charge. I'm not going to lie. Did not look like a good charge. Did not look like a good charge. But if that general can die... That's all that matters to us right now. God, Alexander. And also, uh, this guy's died. Helenos has died already. On that charge. Are you kidding me? It didn't look that bad of a charge. I mean, it didn't look good, but it didn't look awful either. Here comes the Thessalian cavalry, though. Let's kill them if we can. Where are they? They're all in there. If we kill that general, everything's going to be a lot better. You guys fire there. That's all that matters right now. You guys kill them. Yeah, we should be able to kill all of these guys. I think that Thurio Foray, though, is going to be an issue. Kill them. If we, we cannot let this general escape. He's wavering. Kill him. Kill him. Everyone just kill him. Right, Prodromoy, you're going to have to deal with them. So let's come around this way. I want to break these units because they're already wavering. But the general's running. There we go. He's dead now. He's dead. He's dead. Good, 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 good. Right. Can we get a mass route off? They're still all eager over here. So probably not. Probably not. Get into that fight, my friends. You guys fire directly in there. You guys over here. Are these guys eager still? They are eager. This poor unit is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, not going to lie. Let's see if we can break this shaken unit. I'm so sad Helenos has died. Oh, there's no guarantee we win this still. There's no guarantee at all. We just need to get lucky with some good breaks uh, with breaking units. That's really all that needs to happen. There we go. Broken them. This unit needs to die too. So let's kill all them. Let's also come through with our cavalry and charge these guys who are also shaken. This unit's gone. Fantastic. Kill the Uzonoi, please. Kill him. Kill him. Just kill him. Oh, this is the unit from the, from the city. So that's fun. <laughs> right, get in there. Now we get into this unit. Now we get into this unit. I think it's going to be one of those where... Even if we win, you know, we're not going to uh, gonna destroy the army, unfortunately. We need you to chase down enemies for now. Okay, that charge did nothing. That charge did nothing. Absolutely zero. You guys need to come round. You guys need to get up this way, ideally, if we can. And, yeah, these guys... Okay, they've gone. They've gone. This flank has survived. We have won on this flank. That is one flank out of uh, two. And the other flank is kind of quite uh, dangerous right now. Let's have a look. I mean, chasing down enemies is really not important. So let's go for that Prodromoi. These guys are all knackered as well. That's the problem here. I think you guys, you are both decent units. So I think we can try and hold off this Thurio Foroi. They're also, they're probably going to be very tired. They are tired, not very tired. So, you guys, what is that? You so I know. Let's uh, come through up this way. That's probably going to be better. So, you guys keep firing in there for now. 
What I'm thinking of doing is sending this unit into around this Chalka Speedes. So let's go with that. And these units, let's get them in the back there. It's just one unit, isn't it? This is a brutal, brutal, brutal fight. This is going to be one of the bloodiest battles we've done in this campaign so far by quite a long way. So cavalry, our cavalry is absolutely gone us. They're so knackered right now. So are all our troops. But we've got to just keep on pushing through. Oh, they, got, they came back. That's why we needed to chase them down. God damn it. They came back from the fight. These guys are all shaken. Good. That's fantastic for us. Uh, I want you to fire into the Uzonoi for now. These guys, these guys should all be wanting to go. They should all want to die. So let's get them. Who is dying so much? How are you dying that much? Is it the Uzonoi? Probably. Come on, men. Come on, men. Kill them all. One of our units routing now in there. Good. Fantastic. Kill them all. Kill them all. They killed my brother. For revenge, men. For revenge. Right. These phalangites. You've done an absolutely stand-up job, my friends, of protecting this flank. But you've got one more job to do, my friends. And we'll also get the cavalry round this side. God damn. You can hear the stress in my voice, can't you? This is a brutal battle. <laughs> On very hard as well. God damn it. This is extremely brutal. Extremely brutal. Don't think I've seen such a brutal battle in a while. You guys get out. We don't want you fighting on that, uh, that front at all. Looks like they're going to fire another Javi. Right, let's come around this way and see whether we can ch charge them in the back. No, who's routing? Okay, one's routing. Let's rally the men one more time just to make sure. You guys are now in the fight with the Phalangites. So are you, unfortunately. Get out. Just get out. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. I know you're so tired, but you can do it. This, these guys are just fully surrounded and they're hardly dying. They're hardly dying. Okay, that's the other general for the city. Yeah, fire at them. Fire at them. Where is this fight going on? It's down here. They're still eager. They've hardly lost any men in that. Right, you guys now. They love to bunch up their phalangites like this. I don't know why. You guys get down there. What is this? Thurio 4 right? Well, I think we can go for a charge on the Thurio 4 I was hoping we could get a little bit of extra, um, extra uh, fatigue back. But it doesn't look like it. Come on. This charge has got to be really good. Good. Mass breaking. Mass breaking. We love to see that. We love to see that. Come on, boys. We can do it still. We can do it. Might have to micro this if they come for the charge. Right. Cavalry out now. Out. Damn spot. Out. Damn spot. What are you doing, guys? Get off guard mode. Get off guard mode. Get here. That is that is not the formation, my friends. Right. Let's fight this Prodromo, uh, This Thurio Foroi. They're already wavering. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, God. Get out of there, Alexander. You fool. You fool, Alexander. Go. Why is he just stood there? Where is he? No. Alexander. Why is it saying from over here? He's bugged. No, Alexander. No. Right. Get in the fight now, guys. Get in the fight. Alexander, please. Please listen to me, my friend, because otherwise we've got nothing. Right, get the Uzonoi. See what we can do with this charge. Probably not much, but they are countercharging, so it should be a pretty darn decent charge. There we go. Killed 20 in it. Let's go, and let's just go straight back for these guys. Let's get rid of those. No, looks like the Thurio Foroi is gone. So we've only got Alexander left. Oh, my God. This is brutal, man. This is brutal. It's absolutely insane. Kill the Chalka Speedes now. They are shaken. Let's try and get another unit in here. That might break these boys. Alexander's still alive. He just stood somewhere. Where actually is he, though? I want him protected. He's there. He is not protected. He's going to die. Rally the men, though. Come on, the Phalangites. Let's go. Mercenary Phalangites for the win. These guys need to get into the fight. Keep coming. Keep coming, men. Poor Alexander. Go, Alexander, please. Why are you bugged? <laughs> Why are you bugged, my friend? Right, fight the Uzonoi. We're going to lose Alexander here, aren't we? Because he's bugged. That's not going to make me very happy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> God, this Thurio Foray is a beast. How has it destroyed us so much? 
We need to get all these troops out of here. Come on. Can we kill them all? Right. Pr these guys. Kill. Kill. See, Alexander's just going to die because he can't fucking run. That's really going to piss me off. Why does it think he's over there? No, Alexander. Right, we need to we need to save him. We need to save him ASAP. Come on, guys. Come on. Fight them. And now run. Run, run, run. Run. Run, man. Save Alexander. No. Save him. Save him. Guys, kill them. Kill them all. Kill yes, one of them's breaking. Let's go. Next one. Let's go. Bang. Shabangski. Let's go. Oh, this is stressful. This is a stressful, stressful battle. Stressful. God damn it. Oh, my God. I I hope you appreciate me, uh, you know, not editing this battle down as well, guys. <laughs> like, I could edit it down, but I'm not going to because I think it's, it's not worth it. I think you guys want to see a brutal battle like this if it's this brutal in the end. Where's Alexander now? He's safe. <laughs> He's safe. Save him! His brother's died. Yes! Come on! The next one! Let's fucking go, boys! Let's fucking go! Come on! Kill them all! Yes, come on. Come on, boys! Let's go! We've done it! Have we done it, though? This 304 is an absolute bastard. Yes! Kill them all! Wait, wait! Can we move him? Yes! <laughs> How is that possible? I have no idea. Right, get the uh, get these guys behind. Come on, men. Kill them all. Right, who have we got left? We've got these two units. Get back here. Get back here, men. Get back here. We need to kill this 304, right? ASAP. You guys need to get just here. That's fine. Right, Alexander. I think you might as well run down some Chalka Speeders because I don't want to use you in an actual fighting at all. Right, now you're in this position. Fire at that 304, right? These guys should be good enough to kill the rest of them. But this was a battle, guys. <laughs> this is what you call a battle. Are you not entertained, men? Are you not entertained? Good lord. This has been crazy brutal. Yep, I don't mind taking losses on the Cretans. Really not worried about that. Yeah, keep on running them down. Kill as many as you can. Looks like they might have less than 15%. Guys, go for that charge. Go for that charge. They're so knackered. I do feel bad for them. Kill all of them. Go for the charge, men. Go for the charge. What's this? I don't want to fight those you Zonoi. The enemy army is in flight. Right. No, 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 Alexander. No, 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 my friend. Back around here. Right, let's go uh, get the phalangites there. I think these guys can deal with this Thurio 4, right? This was a battle, my friends, wasn't it? This was a battle. Come on, is that you running? Look how tired they are. Oh, they're so knackered. Look at them run like old crooks. <laughs> right, Alexander, back out. Out, 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 my friend. Out, my friend. Go and deal with those ones. Right, we're coming around this way. Come on, the men. Phalanx, kill that Yuzonoi. Kill that Yuzonoi. Uh, yeah, Alexander, you can go and kill some others. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. <laughs> kill this Thurio Foroi bastard. Send him back to whence he came. Absolute bastard. Right. Uh, where are they going? Where are they going, man? What are you doing, you Zonoi? Who, you're chasing down some 304 that are broken. You idiots. <laughs> That's honestly really annoying. That's going to prolong the battle. Right, Alexander, just get away from them because they're clearly just going to try and fight you. So let's speed this up now. Speed it up. There we go. In the fight now. In the fight. Good. Phalanx down. Kill them. Oh, dearie me. What a battle. Well, we're going to have no army left after this. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have enough people to retrain. I have no idea whether we will or not. Let's rally the men one last time. Our legendary commander, Alexander. You have done great work. You have done Zeus's work today, my friend. Or Ares's work, should we say. Kill them all. Kill them all. Well, I will see you at the end, guys. Oh my god. <laughs>
What a battle, my friends. I'll clean as many up as I possibly can, and then we'll end it there. Gods be praised. Wow. That was insanely brutal. And it does look like we did kill both. Oh, who was the MVP then? Of course, Alexander. We brought Helenos with us for our first, <laughs> first campaign. And he pretty much died in the second battle. Oh, no. The line of Pyrrhus gets thinner and thinner and thinner, doesn't it, my friends? Uh, Prodromoi doing well as well. The mercenary phalangites, they were insane. 345 kills. Honestly, I don't think we could have done it without those boys. But what a brutal, brutal, brutal battle. And a glorious one with victory. Can we get away from the next army that might come? and completely destroy us i have no idea let's see victory indeed but was it a pyrrhic victory i am not sure it was pretty darn scary wasn't it so i think we'll use these cretan archers 71 upkeep for these boys to take iginion so let's just occupy and let's leave everyone behind apart from these archers and let's get going away from here as quick as possible <laughs> We could retreat this way, but it's still on the border. Yeah, it's still... Oh, it's actually not on the border. So they shouldn't go for Tricker. But I think we just need to move back towards Ambrakia. I hope that they will get blocked by the city. But I'm thinking if we do this and then we retreat, it should retreat us into a city. So... Oh, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. I'm not going to lie, but it's not awful awful either Athens going there though that's really annoying <laughs> and the map does look beautiful in the dark doesn't it I do really like the map but anyway guys I think we're going to end it there come on stick that like button for that brutal <laughs> and beautiful battle <laughs> please press the like for that that would be amazing guys and thank you for watching it's been a pleasure as always please do like and subscribe it really does help the channel out and I will see you all again when I'm slightly less stressed on the next episode.